And now we take the pulse of the nation. While most tend to analyze the 2024 election as a race between Biden and most likely Donald Trump, we cannot lose sight of the X factors here, meaning third party candidates. A new USA Today Suffolk University poll has the front runners, Biden and Trump, tied at 37, but independent candidate RFK Jr. has a not unimpressive 13 percent. Now, the shock here is that some of his support is coming from voters who would otherwise support Trump. Now, Cornell West, he's also in the mix, peeling off some Biden voters, but West is only polling at about 4 percent. Joining me now, someone very familiar with third party candidates, an old friend, Ed Rollins, campaign co-manager for Ross Perot's 92 independent presidential bid. He also was a campaign manager for one of the last great presidential campaigns, Reagan 84. I still have my T-shirt. Ed, great to see you tonight. Um, now, a lot, of, a lot of polls show a narrow margin between Trump and Biden. Could either of these candidates end up costing uh, one of them the election, West or RFK Jr.? Sure. Everybody has to be very aware today that there's a real polarization in the country, uh, and people don't particularly like the parties. Uh, the parties don't have the—they're not growing, they're not prospering, people aren't going out and registering. And to a certain extent, you're going to have two candidates running again, I think. I think it's going to be Biden, and I think it's going to be Trump, that the country does not necessarily want. Either party doesn't want. And, and Biden's numbers for an incumbent president are terrible. So anybody that takes three, four, five percent away can make a big difference. Uh, you're not going to beat them in the head-to-head, the head, but you certainly could affect a, a tight electoral college, which I assume, since we've run the same election twice, and literally one time Trump won by a little more than 50,000 votes, and the second time uh, maybe 100,000 votes. So you're really talking on a, a very narrow, narrow focus here. And, Ed, when, if you were advising both candidates, let's start with Trump. I mean, you're one of the last great campaign managers alive in the United States. What would you say to Donald Trump now, given these external factors that are also coming into play? I would tell him to run, do his court stuff, perform any way, shape, or form he wants to. He's got a ton of lawyers, and they, they have to advise him. And then go out and campaign on the things that he did as president. Uh, talk about what he accomplished and talk about what's being undone every day. So run sort of a separate campaign from his, his legal. He's out trying to make his legal campaign his campaign. That's not a winning strategy. So focus on the issues, growth, prosperity, low gas prices. Ed, isn't the low gas prices something that I I'm surprised no, you know, it's not really being talked about? It's not being talked about, but more important, I think, is, is the border. I think the borders were things that people felt, felt he did great things on, certainly tried to do great things, and that's, that's certainly flared up everywhere. And, and again, it's not just New York or California, what have you. Mm -hmm. People worry about that everywhere. So my sense is that'd be a big issue I'd talk about. Uh, the, the economic stability was a big issue. Uh, the military, rebuilding the military was a big issue. Uh, and, but he has to separate. He, 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 can't, he can't go out. The key thing, uh, and I'll have a discussion tonight, I've been a fighter all my life. I've never been a hater. Uh, mm. I've, never, I've never let hate get into my environment uh, because it damages me as opposed to them. And there's a great, there's an old boxer and boxing coach at college for many years. There's a great advice the referee gives you at the start of a fight. Protect yourself at all times. And I think we all have to basically be on guard today. There's a lot of unhappy people around the world, mm. a lot of angry people around the world. So it's only going to get worse. So always be aware of your surroundings. Always be prepared for who might, might be at danger you in a way, shape, or form. And, and mm. people want to get guns. I don't, I don't dissuade that. Uh, just make sure you're well trained on how you use them. Yeah, well, it's certainly uh, it's a little crazy out there. But everyone should remember that Anderson, remember John Anderson was polling, what, at 24 percent back in 1980? But then Election Day, he only got 6 percent of the vote, remember? So that, that ended up being a big flop well, real quick. Well, Ross, Ross Perot in June of, of uh, the election, he was ahead of, all, ahead of both Bush and, and Clinton. Uh, he was at... Uh, 39 percent, and he, he dropped. He didn't run a good campaign. He didn't know how to run a campaign, yeah. uh, and it was very hard to try and get him on. on. But the reality is, I assume Kennedy, Kennedy will have some of his numbers. I don't think they'll stay. Well, Ed, it's great to see you tonight, as always, and always the optimistic warrior. That's why I love Ed Rollins. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.